Come on in, have a seat. Do you got a minute? Yes, of course. Okay. So, okay, we. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I have all my appointments on this. So, so I've got, I'm gonna have an FAQ section. I'm going to have uh, other patient testimonies. I've got all my appointments that I've done with you guys um, up to this point, and we're gonna document the rest. As I go through it, what appointments, you got your first initial consultation. Mm -hmm. After the consultation, pre-op? Yes, pre-op. Once you do pre-op, then it's surgery. Straight surgery, yeah. Correct? Yes, then follow up one follow week later. Yeah. One week later, which which we, but we did the 24 hour appointment to actually yes. put in the temps. Yes, yes, exactly. And now we're here at the four week appointment. Yes. Um, to look at how it's integrating. Mm -hmm. Are you, just to check everything is good, the bite is good, the temp is not broken, you know, like any exposure or the, anything, you know, like everything's yeah. healing nice. Uh -huh. Uh, what what do you think? I already got Dr. Iskander's uh, impression. We're looking here is that you have no infection. The implant and all the parts are connected. That everything is stable, you know? Mm. So let me check. Okay, let me show you, for example, this is a socket, you see? The socket of the extraction socket. So everything is healing, you see? Mm. Okay, and then here, you can see the implant. The implant is completely surrounded by bone. So you go one by one. This is the same one. This is the second one, the same bone all around the implant. No infection. The next one, you see? Mm. Bone, all the parts are connected. Then this one, you see, mm -hmm. the same, surrounded by bone. This is very important that you have enough bone in the vocal part, at least two millimeters, you see? You want at least two millimeters? Yes. Okay, why did I think it was one? It's, you need at least two. I mean, imagine that you always have like a remodeling and all that, but the thickness of the tissue, of the bone tissue I'm talking about, around the implant should be at least two millimeters to be stable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is the other implant, and this is the psychomatic implant, the pterygoid implant, you see? Perfect. I mean, that's, that's something that I know clinicians know what, what you know, you guys have a good understanding that, that, you know, you have to give patients bad news sometimes and sometimes you get to give them good news, but patients that have been to this all on four process or to this point, right, mm -hmm. that now they're here and they're, you know, they've had so many failures in their past and infections, me, I'm, so I'm talking about me, and so now to come in and hear an appointment mm -hmm. that Wow, that that everything that, is good. that everything is good. I mean, really yeah. is is a big deal and a, and yeah. a good because release. you can see it, you know. So mm -hmm. you can see that there's no infection. You have all the implants surrounded by bone. So at this point, everything looks good. Of course, we try to avoid. It, I mean, complications. Of course. I mean, that's why we try to to be like two steps ahead of everything. Mm -hmm. But we may have complications. You may have an infection. You may have a an implant that is not us integrated, for example, and we just need to deal with it, okay? Mm -hmm. We just need to, to do what we need to do right. to fix it. But basically, I mean, it's not very common if you know the pathway, you know? I mean, if you know the pathway to get to the good spot, everything is good, nothing to worry about, man. Mm -hmm. Awesome.